Hi, my name is Neve, and today this video I'm going to be talking about the discipline of the CADI program and I'll be talking about digital design. Digital design is the process in which a young person, a young creative person will be provided with the opportunity to use iPad Pros in using Adobe Sketch. However, it can be used on any iOS device as well as Android. So if you don't have an iPad, you can still use it as well as using the MacBooks to use Photoshop after the picture has been finished. And if you're going to put it onto a poster or anything like that'll help as well. Training is given by the Nerve Centre um, throughout all the Cary residentials and it's actually super fun. Like you get to know the people and it's it's such a nice experience to be able to go and do something like that there. Digital design is actually one of my favourite disciplines that I have participated in besides photography because photography is very good as well as you'll know with the person that's talking about photography I'll say. Um, you don't have to be an expert in drawing as CADI gives you the opportunity um, to get help if you if you need it, like doing a design or anything and you need a bit of help or advice on what to do or whatever. Um, you're also encouraged from both the, young, the other young people that participate as well as the staff members. They're really like, they really encourage you to bring out the best and improve throughout the year. It also gives you the opportunity to work as a team and to create the goal that was put into place at the start of the first residential. And as you go through each residential, you create pieces and then at the end of it, you put it together to create one big poster. And it really helps for whatever the CADI program that year has decided to do. Last year, or sorry, this year we decided to do uh, exhibit so it was like exhibiting all the photography the designs and stuff that we provided as well as the sound people in providing quality sound during the performance that some bands have put on as well as like filming them and the events people that put it together as well like they're really good as well but design like there's no limit to what you can draw. Anything is possible. Some tips maybe for using Adobe Sketch or Photoshop is that you usually want to, if you're doing a sketch, you usually want to start that off black and white first before adding the color. Because if you add the black and white, then that means it gives you like the layout to, you know, like where, what's going where and how to then to add the colors in after to finish the piece. Um, Using layers if possible as well, that's quite good as this can really help to bring a piece together. Like having the layers, it really like makes some bits stand out to what it's meant to stand out like. Um, it's also important that we explore different types of like drawings and stuff because um, it's nice to like kind of expand and do all different things instead of the same thing all the time. Um, and also to be patient because sometimes depending on the size of the drawing or whatever it like it may take some time so it's important to have a bit of patience when doing them and just to show you kind of what we do and stuff here is a few designs that I've drew while I've been in quarantine like while I have nothing else to do um, so it's just to like show you like so there's so many different things you can make. So this is a just a picture of a person, and of course that person is Harry Potter because I'm obsessed. And then just like that was a watchtower I drew at the start of quarantine, just because I wanted to draw something different because I'd been drawing so many of the same things. This one was my sister requested me to do this. It's just a little unicorn. And then, because I like watermelon, so I drew a watermelon. So, and then just that was a wee random one that I drew, as well as this one. So, like, realistically, anything is possible to draw with Adobe Sketch. And then when you put it into Photoshop, it helps you just kind of, like, finish up the piece. And then 
when you're doing it in Adobe Sketch, then you can save it as a certain PDF or JPEG and all different ones as well, because then that means you can print that piece out and then you can like make it into like a collage on your wall or whatever. And so I can really say that a design is actually really helped me bring out my creative side because before I wouldn't have thought I would have been able to draw anything like that, but it's really helped and I would really recommend it as I would recommend any other discipline as well. But I have to say digital design was really good this year and I really enjoyed it.